What is up, FN True followers and the members of the YWC? GC Styles here, FN True Wrestling, back with the three hour Raw Gets Rocked Super Show for November 14, 2011. Raw just went off the air, got a lot of co to cover, so let's get right into it. First off, we start the show off. We see Michael Cole talk about the Michael Cole Open, where he. If Jim Ross can beat him, he will retire, give Jim Ross his job back, and quit from announcing. Most likely, he'd probably go over to SmackDown anyway. But we see the three contests. We see first off was an arm wrestling contest, which we see Jim Ross win, followed by a dance contest, which Jim Ross won again. But Michael Cole rigged it rigged the third and final event where we saw uh, a weight scale bought into the mix and basically we see whoever is the lightest wins the event wins the, that particular quote unquote game I guess so we see obviously we see Michael Cole at 200 pounds win then we see CM Punk come out talks about how you know, how he was rigged, how he rather prefers to see Jim Ross, how Michael Cole's time is up. Starts really bad-mouthing uh, Michael Cole, which I was okay with that. Then we see uh, John Laurinaitis come out. He basically makes a tag team match for CM Punk and The Big Show to go against Alberto Del Rio and Mark Henry later in the night. We then see Michael Cole get in CM Punk's face. We see CM Punk... We see Michael Cole turn around and say, hey, you know, you deserve an, I deserve an apology for all that you were talking. You really hurt my feelings. Then we see uh, Michael Cole get put in the Anaconda Vice. And as he's being put in the Anaconda Vice, we see CM Punk screaming, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Then we go to a commercial break and we come back. We see Cody Rhodes and Hanico pick up the win over Sin Cara and Kofi Kingston in a great tag team match. I said it last night in the TNA Turning Point review that tag team wrestling is returning uh, in wrestling again. I mean, uh, TNA has been really uh, pulling it out with the tag team matches again. I mean, I saw the fantastic match on Friday night, SmackDown, and we had another one tonight. We uh, go to a com right before commercial break. We see The Rock walking backstage, and we hear Michael Cole say that The Rock will address Cena and R Truth and the Miz later on in the night. Uh, then we see Mason Ryan pick up the win by over Dolph Ziggler by disqualification. We see Vicky Guerrero slap Mason Ryan once again. After the match, post match, we see Ziggler tries to escape. We see John Morrison throw. Uh, Dolph Ziggler back into the ring. Then we see uh, Mason Ryan locking a full Nelson finisher and leaves Dolph laying out cold. Then we see Matt. We see uh, Matt Stryker backstage hyping up that we see a big stretch uh, Escalade pull in, and you know he's hyping up that it's The Rock. And lo and behold, who steps out? The hardcore legend Mick. Foley, I almost fell out of my chair. I wasn't. I kind of knew Mick Fo was gonna show up tonight, but I kind of didn't. So it was really nice to see Michael uh, Mick Foley come out. To and he basically says he's here to support The Rock. We go to commercial break. We see Mick Foley come out and he does. Uh, this is your life with John Cena. We see him bring out John Cena's coach. We see him bring out his old tag team partner, B2, a.k.a. Bull Buchanan. And we also see Cena's father come out, and they all give their speeches, basically kind of embarrassing John Cena. Uh, his little league coach was talking about how John Cena used to strike out when the, uh, when the game was on the line. We saw B2 come out and basically say that John Cena was the greatest tag team partner that he ever had. They were like brothers, like family. And then he started going into his woes about how um, John Cena ruined his life, his uh, life, his wife left him, his kids, his dog died. You know, basically saying that John Cena ruined his life. Then we see Cena Sr. come out and basically turns around and says to everyone that we don't. he doesn't know why the fans boo 
his son because of how hard he works. Why, uh, why is it such a bad thing that little kids love him? You know, basically embarrassing Cena, and John turned around and said, Dad, I'll talk to you later. This is not the time. I'll talk to you later. Then we see The Rock come out just as we were going to see uh, Mick Foley introduce another uh, one of Cena's old-time friends. And basically comes out and rock bottoms Mick Foley which we get more information out of that a little bit later on the night. We see Sheamus pick up the win over Jack Swagger via bro kick. We saw a very quick Divas match, Kelly Kelly picking the win up over Natalia. After the match, we see backstage Del Rio attack CM Punk right before his match. Then we see come back from the commercial break and we see Alberto Del Rio and Mark Henry pick up the win over CM Punk in the Big Show. Post match we see Del Rio ply the arm breaker. Big Show runs into back up CM Punk. Del Rio flees the ring. Then Santino comes out. When we come back from a commercial break we see Santino come out and says that the last time they were in the, the Boston Garden or the TD Garden uh, he almost won the Royal Rumble back early this year. He talks that next time he comes out, he will be a champion the next time they visit the the Boston Garden. Then we hear Kevin Nash's music hit, and Kevin Nash comes out and says that, you know, he won he the Royal Rumble, he returned, basically, you know, putting Santino on notice. And then we see him hit a big boot on Santino. Then we see him get on the mic and he talks about he talks trash to Triple H, saying that Nat, Triple H isn't here, but Nash is. Then picks Santino up and hits the jackknife. Then we see Wade Barrett versus Randy Orton. We see Barrett come out with his team and speaks about the Barrett Barrage has gone through numerous wrestlers, Daniel Bryan, Sheamus, and Randy Orton last Friday night. Then we also see Randy Orton come out with his team. Also... We see Orton pick up the win by DQ when Cody jumped in the ring and attacked Randy. Then all men, all ten men got into the ring, battled it out. We see Randy Orton hit an RKO on Hunico. Also, breaking news, Christian has broken his ankle and will be out for a couple of weeks. We also see... We also saw his replacement on Team Barrett, which was Dolph Ziggler earlier in the night. I forgot to mention that. We come back from a commercial break, and we see uh, Justin Roberts in the ring and announces that The Rock is coming out. We see The Rock come out, and he talks about his day. He talks about all the stuff he did today uh, on the set of G.I. Joe, driving the battle tanks around for the movie. Uh, he talks about having breakfast and there wasn't a fruity pebble in sight. You know, doing basically what The Rock does. Then we see him talking about how things are trending worldwide. Anything that has to do with The Rock on Twitter trends worldwide. You can forget about the NBA lockout, uh, the Kardashians breaking, uh, getting divorced. You could forget about Bigfoot even becoming president. You know, it was really, it was really on top of his game tonight. We saw... The Miz and Our Truth come out and interrupt and talk about how they're going to beat The Rock at Survivor Series, him and Cena at Survivor Series. Then we see uh, Cena come out and basically they start cutting promos back and forth with each other. How the only thing that The Rock has bought over the last seven years were messages via satellite. Then The Rock, uh, you know, threw a comment back. And it was just a really great uh, moment to see all four of those competitors, you know, in the ring. You saw the future of the WWE with The Miz, R-Truth, and John Cena. And you saw the future, the past of the company, The Rock. You know, I'm definitely looking forward to seeing Survivor Series. Uh, basically, post-match, post-segment, uh, we see The Rock turn around. We saw uh, lady parts being chanted when The Rock talked about how John Cena has a mangina, pretty much, his words, which I thought was funny. Also... Uh, boots to ass was a chant for the very first time. So, you know, Raw was very electric tonight. And, guys, you know, I can go on and on and on. But it's very late. And I got to get to bed. So, guys, thanks for tuning in. Please check out F and True Entertainment, the F and True Click.
Fight Nation Wrestling, Brian's baby uh, indie promotion that he wants to get out and up and running. So, guys, thanks for watching. Please leave me your comments on what you thought of Raw. Kind of curious to see what you guys want to, uh, kind of curious to see what you guys have to say. Also, please stay tuned for Brian and myself's Survivor Series predictions. We will be sitting down hopefully tomorrow to do that for you guys. So, thanks for watching. Stay tuned and have a great night.